Hi everyone, my name is Glenda with SureFit Designs and the purpose of this short video today is to talk about the neckline fit and that specifically the jewel neckline that's on your basic bodice. Most of you know that a basic sloper or block, which I call the SureFit Designs body blueprint, has that high round neckline and that's called a jewel neckline. You need to make sure that that's fitting you properly before you go ahead and design any other styles of necklines. So when you've got your basic bodice on, that's one thing that you'll want to see and make sure that it's sitting there properly. Now, if you happen to have a bit of a tight neckline, as did these two ladies in one of my fitting classes that was that I held here in Oregon. You'll see what I did was that I come in literally and I kind of push my finger into their gullet here and I decide where that neckline should actually sit on their bodies. And then what I did was I drew the neckline in red and I asked these two ladies to go ahead and restay stitch in that neckline that I drew for them and then of course cut down to the stay stitching uh, so that it would sit properly on their bodies and when they got it done it sit just fine. And so then what you need to do is translate that information over to your uh, body blueprint. And um, if you're following along in your instruction book, you turn to page 14 and that's number four, where I'm talking about the, the tight either back or front neckline. And depending on how much you've lowered down your basic test bodice, it might be a quarter of an inch, a half an inch, or even five-eighths of an inch, you just come into your body blueprint and make that marking the depth that you need it to be. And then what I normally do is pencil that in first of all, and then I take the designing stylus and to do that neck curvature it's actually the reverse side of the designing stylus and so you're just going to turn that over and then come in and uh, blend that up into your existing neck point. And that's as easy as that minor tune-up is. That's all you need to do. Now, one thing I do want to point out is that on this particular sample that I'm showing you here today, I don't have any seam allowances on here because I didn't want to confuse the visual image. Do remember that with the blueprint that you're working on, you'll already have drawn in your seam allowances. So make sure you take that into consideration when you lower the neckline, then you need to add those seam allowances back in place. Now, another situation might occur, and this particular lady also attended one of my fitting classes here in Oregon. And she had a very, very dominant rounded back, but she also had a forward thrusting head and neck. And once we'd corrected for that rounding in her back, the front neckline was still too tight on her bodice. And so we did exactly the same technique that I've just finished showing you, which was identify how far down from her neckline hollow did we want that neckline to be, and then in a nice smooth curve, blended it back up to her neck point. And when that got completed, Here's the finished photograph and you can see how nicely that is sitting on her neckline. So again, you can see how easy it is to make this uh, minor tune-up for your pattern. Now another situation might occur where you actually have not drawn the neckline properly and created a situation that's making it pull tight. So if we take a look at this photograph, you can see that there is a slight V formation right here. And that's because you haven't used the designing stylus properly to draw the neckline. And so I'm just going to change out that piece of tracing vellum and put in another one so that you can see how you're supposed to draw it. So let's just assume that you're starting off drawing your body blueprint for your bodice front. 
and I'm going to assume that you've drawn in the center front marking and the straight of grain. And I'm also going to assume that you're um, a bust measurement number of 40 inches around. So I've put in the 40 dot there at center front and at the shoulder line, uh, at the neck point on the shoulder line. Now, to draw the appropriate curvature for your uh, bodice front, it's this longer lower curve on the designing stylus, but it is the reverse side, which doesn't have any printing or indicators on it. And you can see that I have written in the words there, neck curve. Well, that's the curvature that you need to use. And also, I always have a little bit of a, a general guideline for you, which is to find the curve on the master pattern like that, and then simply slip the designing stylus up until it exposes your two dots and then you draw around. So if you were a larger size, you might have to come up a little bit further and you might have to shimmy that stylus back down in place. But always remember to repeat the curve that is on that master pattern. What happened in the case of this, what I'm calling a V-neck shape, is that she actually held the designing stylus like this. And you can see that that is not the appropriate curvature. I'm just going to draw that in pink so you can see what's happening. And then I'm going to draw it the proper way. Find the curve on the master pattern and slip the stylus up until it exposes those two dots and then draw around. And when I take that away, you can see the dramatic difference between the pink curvature and the blue curvature. Now, if you happen to draw a shallow curve like that, it will form that little V at the front. And no matter how much you put your stay stitching in and clip to your stay stitching, it will never fit properly and lay down properly on your neckline. So always be aware of that as well. And then the last thing I want to draw to your attention, and this is something that can happen very, very easily, even though you might know better, it's that once you get your stay stitching done on your test bodice, you must always clip to the stitching. Because if you don't, that neckline will never sit properly on your neck. And because it's pulling tight at your neck, it's going to feel uncomfortable and it can cause some inappropriate wrinkles out into the shoulder line, which of course aren't going to be there once the neckline has been stitched properly. Uh, excuse me, clipped properly down into the stitching. So always make sure to clip at right angles to the stay stitching and that will let that neckline fit as it was intended to fit on your neckline. Okay, for this plus other uh, informative and complimentary videos, please make sure that you go on over to the Surefit Designs Learning Center and click on the video library. There you're going to see all kinds of video help to get you one of the very best fit possibles with your Surefit Designs body blueprint.